Oh, hey. The last one to awaken. Welcome to the fucking party, man. What the hell? Where am I? What's, what's going on here? Are you guys gonna kill me? Kill you? Man, sit the fuck down and take a look around. We're all in the same goddamn boat. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, do you know this guy? Leave him alone. Listen, sweetheart, we all wake up in here with a corpse on our collective laps. I'm just trying to ask this guy a question. Please stop yelling. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I drowning your God's voice? Do you have to pick on everyone? Well, no, not everyone. Dark Lord over there hasn't said a word. I don't feel the need to say anything to that creep. And you know what? I've had enough flip from you. Why don't you learn from the Emperor over there and shut your goddamn mouth? A real nice asshole? What, just because you were the first person to wake up, you think you can boss everyone around? Who the hell made you Nathan! Pick? His name is Nathan! Was. His name was Nathan. Correct. Solves one mystery. Oddly enough, we all know Nathan. What? Weird, huh? A bunch of strangers in a room and we all know the dead guy. Okay, so we all know, or knew, Nathan. That doesn't explain why we're all here. Well, have you guys tried the door? <laughs> Have I tried the door? Wait, do you think you woke up in a room full of idiots? Hey, I don't know any of you. That's right! You don't. You do best to remember it. I don't belong here. We all belong here. Why is that? We're here for a reason. She's right. The hell is that? I'm the reason you're all here. Well, Mother Mary over here seems to think that God put us here. You say you're God? For the time being, I'm the only God any of you have. Well, fuck you, buddy! What gives you the right to lock people in a room like rats, huh? Relax. No, I'm not gonna relax. This is messed up. This sicko took us from our homes and our families and put us in a room with a rotting body nobody cares about. You all know the man on the table as Nathan. I know him as my son. One of you in this room killed him. Now hold on. Each one of you have motive for killing Nathan. I know this, and you know this. So what are we supposed to do about it? Say sorry? Is that a confession? No. That's what I want. A confession. Once one of you admits to killing my son, the rest of you will be set free. And the one who confesses? I will personally see to it that they suffer indescribable pain before I cut their heart from their chest. Well, I didn't do this. Neither did I. Fuck this! Listen, nobody's gonna admit to this because nobody wants to die. Says the guy whose arms are tied up. Yeah, why are you all tied up anyway? I mean, if anyone killed anybody here, it's probably you. I don't know where this came from. I just woke up like the rest of you. I figured all of you were tied up at one point too. I was gonna ask for some help, but... I've never been tied up. Yeah, well, as far as being in this room goes, none of us have. Back off. Ooh, touchy. Like you said, we're all in the same boat here. That psycho just happened to tie me up. He's messing with our heads. You really think she just snuck that knife in here? No, he allowed it. Well, if that's the case, then it doesn't really matter who actually killed Nathan. It just matters who admits to it. Wait, 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 wait. What are we saying? Well, somebody's gotta say something, darling. Else none of us are getting at it. What, what are you doing? Hey, hold on a minute. Whoa! Don't. Hey, hey, wake up! The rest of the group would like to know why you're not talking, kid. Fuck you! Come on! 
I'm sure you've seen what the situation is here, and right now your argument is the least convincing one. So what did this poor bastard do to you to get you thrown in here with the rest of us, huh? Fine. Plead the fifth. That's enough. Okay, 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 easy, 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 easy. He didn't do this. Yeah? How do you know that? Well, look at him. <coughs> Why are you here, Chief? Taped up? Knife? You paint a pretty bad picture. I'm here because a long time ago I was going to be a doctor. I was well on my way through med school, and, uh... Nathan ratted me out. He... he ruined my life. And this isn't my knife. It's hers. I fell in love with him. Shut up! We ran away together. He... treated me like... a real woman. You shut your fucking mouth! What?! You can't stand that another man stepped up to you, can you? Oh, I should have killed you instead! Forget it. Wait, did, did you kill him? No, I own up to my shit. I'm not afraid of that sociopath. What did he do to you? Come on, I'm not gonna hit you to get answers. Why are you here? Get out of my face. You know the kid you just beat to a pulp? He's deaf. Whatever, it still doesn't explain why he's here. Maybe he was bullied. Yeah? Well then he can join the rest of the world. Cause that's all your god does, is bully. He merely just challenges us. Well what kind of challenge did he give Nathan then, huh? Fuck this! Did it ever occur to any of you that maybe we didn't do anything at all? Maybe that asshole just threw us in the room to watch us squirm. Maybe he's the one who killed Nathan and he's just covering his ass. You really think someone would go that far just for their own pleasure? Well, why not? If he wants the blame diverted, why not be smart about it? No. No? No what? I started going to church because of Nathan. The only God I ever knew was at the bottom of a glass. Nathan saved me. I joined his church group and was reintroduced to God. And through countless retreats, I slowly forgot the taste of alcohol. So, you shouldn't even be here. You hold no grudge against him. And neither did I. Actually, with the exception of Beethoven over there, the only person with any reason to kill him is you. Yeah. Right, and uh, your girlfriend cheating on you with him isn't a reason? That's my sister. I just didn't like her taste in guys. Like any protective brother. Sit. What? Sit down. No. Don't! Ah, ah. I'll make a regular Helen Keller out of the kid. Stay. Listen. Sure, I have motives, but I saw Nathan almost every weekend. Drinking it up at the bar with the other med students. Okay? Yes, I hated him. With a passion. But not once did the thought of murder cross my mind. I mean, just last Saturday I was singing karaoke with the guy. What did you say? Don't interrupt. No, wait. You said last weekend you were singing with Nathan. Uh, yeah. Every, every weekend. The med kids would sing karaoke. 
Nathan and I were a regular duo. Every weekend? Yes, please don't hurt the kid. Every weekend our church group had retreats. What? Oh, shit. No, 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 wow. Bravo. How do you know she's not lying? Church group, really, come on. He's holding a rosary. You killed him. No. You twisted little shit. You couldn't stand the thought of him succeeding where you failed, so you killed him. No, no! Admit it. He was nothing but a churchgoer. You took his life over some test. No, 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 no. Did he beg for mercy? Stop it. Did he even see it coming? Did you let him say goodbye to his father? Fine! I killed him, all right? I wrapped my hands around his neck and I squeezed until his eyes popped. I killed him, okay? We know. Nathan was our friend. He helped all of us in the darkest hour, and you took him from us. This is the least we can do for him. You may go. Regardless of what you just endured, he was still my son.